Hello, my name is Eamon Judge and I chair the COVID Alliance, a volunteer grouping of engineers who have responded to the national COVID emergency. Many will remember the evening of March 4th when we viewed a TV report from Northern Italy showing their collapsing intensive care units. The reaction of many was we should ensure that such a scene would never happen in Ireland. Within days, my colleagues and I in the major engineering and manufacturing companies in the Irish pharmaceutical sector came together and voluntarily reached out to the HSC to offer a significant pool of pro bono resources and so the COVID Alliance was born. The Alliance was organised into a series of volunteer work streams with companies supporting them based on their specific capabilities. One of the earliest requests made to the Alliance was to see if we could address shortages of a specialist reagent called Lysis Buffer in the COVID PCR testing process. We expanded our teams to include scientists in many academic institutions and working with the pharma sector an optimised process to make this key reagent was developed and shared globally. In just three weeks, raw materials were sourced in Europe, an Irish-based production process was put in place and we can now supply enough lysis buffer reagent to carry out over 5 million COVID tests. So the scientists and patients in CUH really benefited from this collaborative effort to make critical lysis reagent. In planning ahead for COVID hospitalizations, the HSE anticipated an increase in patients requiring supplementary oxygen. Over a three week period, nine Alliance engineering teams surveyed over 30 medical facilities and built mathematical models to analyse the medical gas systems. This voluntary engineering team of over 40 people confirmed that the systems could meet the anticipated patient loads. In addition, they identified opportunities to increase capacity at some facilities where extra patients could be treated. At this point, 10 of the country's largest construction and specialist medical gas firms joined the Alliance. They borrowed materials from the electronics and pharma sector moved large items of equipment around the country and in just over two weeks had increased the capacity where it was required. The construction teams also serviced the temporary City West self-isolation facility with bedside oxygen supplies. Many manufacturing firms, universities, Engineers Ireland members, sub-aqua clubs and fire stations had voluntary engineers and equipment on standby to support the health system. Thankfully, in the end, this support turned out not to be necessary. Local efforts to make specialist PPE was, were also developed. A team from the Alliance worked with the HSC and identified a need for a local supply of face goggles. A prototype called the BioView Basic Face Goggles was quickly designed by specialist Alliance team members. Then a manufacturing process was developed by a medical device firm in Dublin and currently an order for over a million Irish made goggles is in progress with the HSC. The Alliance now involves over 10 work streams with volunteer representatives of the participating groups meeting daily and working together in cross organisational teams. Since March, the COVID Alliance has expanded to over 50 commercial, academic, and state organisations. Joining us on screen are many of the over 90 engineers and scientists who voluntarily gave of their time and expertise with many late nights and weekends as we responded to this national call to arms. I will leave the final message to Dr. Jerry O'Dwyer, Group CEO, HSC South Southwest Hospital Group. There is no doubt in my mind that the Alliance's support in relation to COVID-19 preparations has enabled our hospitals across the South Southwest Hospital Group to enhance the level and quality of care available to our patients. This support has also helped to ensure that hospital staff were protected and contributed in a major way to help curb the spread of the virus earlier this year.